the Moonchild Building, room 503. And we are here, the Moonchild Building. So let's head inside and let's use the elevator to go to room 5. Ah, crap. Alright, so elevator, elevator, elevator. Okay, so go to the fifth floor and we can go from there. Alright, to room five over here, right here. Good to go, good to go. You don't know what I'm saying, I'm thinking good to go by Yellow Wolf featuring Bun B. Good song actually, if you know, you'll probably, if you play Thank You the Dirt, you'll know what that song is. That's pretty much where I got it from, even though I knew the song before Think Row the Third. Alright, so room 503, correct? Yep, alright, so this 503. This is 508, so this is 510. So I'm guessing 5-3 is like right here. Yes, it is. Come in. If you are afraid, now is the time to go back. May I ask you to spar with me? In this darkness? Darkness offers me the perfect environment to see your skills. I'm like, what the fuck? Here I come. Alright, so we have a... Uh, we have a, uh... Bar against this guy. And now, unfortunately, Rio will swing wildly somewhat. But, yeah, like that. He'll just swing like that. Since he can't see because it's in the dark. There's no way he can win even though it is a spar, so whatever. Anyway, why am I still doing this? It shouldn't just be over by now. Do not rely on sight. A disturbed mind can make you impatient. Are you not aware of the voodoo? Done. Yes. Do not rely on your eyes when in darkness. Dismiss all other thoughts and see with your mind's eye. My mind's eye. All right, so we have a little somewhat mini game. Concentrate mind's on your eye. Eyes. Press to adjust direction and attack. 
You try to hit the opponent within the lot time. Rio is successful. Try to sense the opponent's moves swiftly. This is somewhat kind of difficult. It's hard to get it somewhat. Your moves are slow. Yes, I know my moves are slow. I had you right there too. That's the worst part about it. Oh my god, this might take a while. So I could have had till I get it. Relax. You gotta kind of get it kind kind of timed the right. So I'll just I'll just cut ahead till I get it right. Sense my moves. There we go. This is an annoying challenge. Hmm. You have a natural aptitude. Sense the opponent without relying on your eyesight. This is called predictive explosion. Predictive explosion. So it didn't take it that long as I thought it was going to be, but whatever. The hell? Oh, you were playing the Chinese fiddle. You can see? You are Iwao's son. You knew my father? About 20 years ago, your father visited this place. The fuck? My father came here? Miuao had much interest in the Chinese martial arts. We became friends and often exchanged our knowledge on moves. Is Iwao well? He was killed by a man named Lan Di of the Chiyo Men. Killed? By Lan Di? How terrible! Iwao was killed. Birds morning echoes. Clouds gather as you pass away, shedding tears. If there is anything I can do for your father, do you know who Young Da Zhu is? Does he have anything to do with the death of your father? Yes. I heard that Zhu is being held captive at the Yellowhead building. The headquarters of the Yellowhead. Is there a way for me to get in there? Hmm. There is a way. Who is this man? He's a scout for the Yellowhead. A scout? He finds talented practitioners of martial arts to send to the Chiyo men. If he picks you, you may be able to get inside the Yellowhead. What should I do? If you can keep winning at street fights, there's a chance. Street fights? Alright, so this is the part, this is the portion of the game where we have to go through street fights. Yay, like that's fun. Actually, it kind of is, not really. More of the street fights are more, um, get in touch with a scout inside the yellowhead, find street fighting areas. The only street fighting areas there are so far that we know of, so that I know of so far. A thousand, what, well, we, a thousand white and... I think that's it actually, the Thousand White Quarter. Um, 
I'll show one off and then I'll and then I'll end this part off because I think I'm I think I don't feel like I don't really don't feel like I don't feel like recording too much because remember that incident where I told y'all about how it did an hour and like three minutes of recording and then it froze and I had to do all that again and I kind of don't want to pull an hour again so yeah I find it funny that the Moon Child building and the Dan Corner have the same music. Hilarious. Um, am I going the right Yes, I'm going the right way. I don't want to go to the Thousand White Court. There also are three bikes in here in the Dan Corner. I think in the Dimson Porter, I'm not sure, but I don't think you can get in them. You can't get in there. There's no way you can get in there, but you have to. You have to do something. I forgot what it is. I think you have to earn money, and you have. Yeah, you have to earn money first, but still need. Yeah, yeah. I'll just show y'all later when we get there. It's not right now. We can do. All right, so let's talk to Joy since she's here. Joy. What? Do you know a street fight arena close by? You aren't going to participate in the street fights, are you? The only way to get inside the Yellowhead building is to win at street fighting. I don't have time now. I'll explain later. You are so rash. Oh well, there's one right past the Thousand White Quarter. Anywhere else? Another one would be at... Go out to the plaza and take a right. It's in the alley between the Thousand White Building and the Ghost Hall Building. Oh, all right. All right, so there's one around here. This is the actually the one I want to do. I want to. This is where you start actually want to start doing street fighting now. Now here I like doing this one a lot. This one I like doing for money because it is so fucking easy. Look at this guy. All you do is try to you try to hit him. But you're what you're supposed to actually do is try to grab him like a freaking idiot and try to fight him like an idiot. You're supposed to grab him, you idiot. Whatever, let's just go. That's him. Now, in Zhangzhou, here is one of the best masters of acrobat style martial arts. Swift as a flying swallow, leaping as high as a monkey. Catch this man here and be the winner. One match for a bet of ten dollars. The time limit? Thirty seconds. Anyone confident enough to try? Oh, this is challenger. so fucking easy. How challenge? I'll do it. Get up here. Can you keep up with my yes, speed? Yes, I can keep up with your speed. I've beaten you so many damn times. Take you're so such easy money. Ready? You want what you're gonna want to do as soon as he jumps is when you want to press A or B. Oops. I caught you. Damn. We got a winner. Well, as soon as he lands, pretty much. Damn, he read my moves. Amazing. Here you go. It's also a good way to get your money up uh, by Ghost Hall Bunny Acrobat Style Master. So yeah, now that we got that out of the way, and the guy won't get out of my way, I think we're going to cut it off right here. In the next part, we will continue on Street Fights. So until then, the 615 Tennessee Titans, and after I say this, And put my controller down and get my phone to turn off the recording off my iPhone because I do it through voice memos and uh, my, the headset that comes with a mic built in. I will see you guys later. Peace.